Hey guys, welcome back to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So excited to get watching this episode. We're getting super close to the end of season three here and also the mayor's ascension, which is not really something to get excited about, but I'm looking forward to seeing how we end up stopping that because I have high hopes. I think uh, Buffy will save the day, of course. Buffy and the gang, I believe in them. Really excited for this episode. Let's get watching. Oh, she's... Oh, wow. Hi. <laughs> Very funny better or something. Or something. I guess we got a little carried away with the whole post-slayage nap thing. <laughs> Oh, not good. <laughs> oh, maybe we should think about getting a few mirrors. Maybe a drawer, you know, for some of my stuff. That's what couples do. Mm -hmm. They have drawers. After the prom, it'd be nice to be able to just come back here and spend some time together. The prom? End of high school rite of passage thingy. I think maybe you should get going, huh? There must be a few more hours before sunrise. There's lots on his mind. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I guess it's later than we thought. Right, she could have been a little bit more careful <laughs> opening the windows. <laughs> Surprise! No, that's not what you do when, you bo when your boyfriend is a vampire. Oh, there is something on Angel's mind. I'm pretty sure it's related to what the mayor talked to him about in the last episode. It's difficult because I can see... I can see the mayor's point. He is right with what he said about how he, being a mortal and having a mortal love is not easy. And I think it's only something that Angel is really considering, really thinking of now. A bit too late. Well, hey, it's ah! Demon Anya. I don't have a date for the prom. <gasps> What? Well, gosh, I wonder why not. It couldn't possibly have anything to do with your sales pitch. Will you go with me? One of us is very confused, and I honestly don't know which. Look, I know you find me attractive. I've seen you looking at my breasts. Nothing personal, but when a guy does that, it just means his eyes are open. Look, do you want to go with me or not? Anya, huh? Interesting choice. Choice is kind of a broad term for my situation. See, it's either Anya or the sock puppet of love for this boy. She just better not... Try to cross me, that's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Well, at least we all have someone to go with now. And some of us are going with demons, but I think that's a valid lifestyle choice. Oh. See, guys, he's thinking. This better not be Faith. No, please. Summers. I'm Whoa. sorry to, uh. Well, I, I would have called, but I didn't have your number. Hi. Please. Your place is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I like a lot of space. I don't get that much in the day. <laughs> Can I get you something? Uh, I don't have any coffee. You know, oh, no, thank you. I, I understand Buffy spent the night. We came back after patrolling. I'm, and... I'm not interested in the details. It's not why I'm here. I'm here because I'm worried about you two. I don't have to tell you that you and Buffy are from different worlds. She's had to deal with a lot. Sometimes even I forget that she's still just a girl. I'm old enough to be her ancestor. She's just starting out in life. I think about it more now that she's staying in Sunnydale. Good. Because when it comes to you, Angel, she's just like any other young woman in love. You're all she can see of tomorrow. But I think we both know that there are some hard choices ahead. If she can't make them, you're gonna have to. I know you care about her. I just hope you care enough. Care enough to not be with Buffy anymore? Is that what she's implying? We know that the Ascension refers to a human transforming into a demon. Graduation day. Our Mayor Wilkins is scheduled to do just that. The trouble mm. is we don't know which demon he's going to become. Mm. There are thousands of, of species. We shouldn't waste any time on such trifling matters as a school dance. Well, that's too bad, because I bet you would look way 007 in a tux. Except, of course, on the actual night, and I will be aiding Mr. Giles in his chaperoning duties. <laughs> what? Excuse me? Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> We'll get you a dress. You know, we should check April Fool's. Don't go there. I shop there. She works there. And I shall be wearing pink taffeta as chenille will not go with my complexion. Can we please talk about the ascension? <laughs> Giles, we get it. Miles to go before we sleep. We deserve a little promy fun. One night of glory, not too much to ask. Oh, what's this place? This place is creepy looking. Oh, oh, oh. Are you joking? You've put 
put that thing in there? If any man can show just cause, <laughs> let him speak now. A beautiful dream. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. That is amazing. Wow. Whose dream is that? Buffy or Angel's? If it's Buffy's, could come true. That looks awfully bright out there. This is Angel's dream. This is about Angel. Burning. <laughs> That's Angel's dream. <laughs> wow. Oh, she's burning up. That's so symbolic. I'm sure I saw him come down here. Couldn't we just let this be the vamp that got away? You don't have a tux, do you? Since when did <laughs> patrolling go black tie? For the prom, silly. We have more important things to think about right now than the dance, <laughs> Buffy. Sorry, Giles. I'll just be quiet. <laughs> come on. Don't be that way. Oh gosh, it scared me. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm not being that way. Every time I say the word prompt, you get grouchy. I'm sorry. I'm just worried that you're getting too invested in this whole thing. What whole thing? And isn't this the stuff that I'm supposed to get invested in? What's with the dire? <laughs> it's uh it's nothing. No, you have something, face. I think we need to talk. Oh. But not now, not here. No. No, if you have something to say, then say it. Angel, drop the cryptic. You're scaring me. I've been thinking about our future. And the more I do, the more I feel like us, you and me being together, is unfair to you. Is this about what the mayor said? He was right. No. No, he wasn't. He's the bad guy. You deserve more. You deserve something outside of demons and darkness. You should be with someone who can take you into the light. Oh. Someone who can make love to you. I don't care about that. You will. And, and children. Children? Can you say jumping the gun? I kill my goldfish. Today, before you know it, you'll want it all. A normal life. I'll never have a normal life. No. Right. You'll always be a slayer. But that's all the more reason why you should have a real relationship instead of this. This freak show. It's not the hurt. I didn't mean that. I'm gonna go. I'm sorry. You know how much I love you. It kills me to say this. Then don't. Who are you to tell me what's right for me? You think I haven't thought about this? Okay, I'm trying to think with my head instead of my heart. You have a heart? It isn't even beating. Don't. Don't what? Don't love you? I'm sorry, you know what? I didn't know that I got a choice in that. I'm never gonna change. I can't change. I want my life to be with you. She does. I don't. You don't want to be with me? I can't believe you're breaking up with me. It doesn't mean that I don't. Yeah, it doesn't mean that he doesn't want to be with her. How am I supposed to stay away from you? I'm leaving. Mom. After the ascension. Where are you going? Where? I don't know. Is this really happening? Oh God, I feel so bad. It's not because he wants to. Is this really it? He really is gonna leave. That's it? That's it? Assuming we survive this ascension thing, he's gonna leave town. He's a fool. He's just a big, dumb, jerk person, if you ask me. And he's a, a super maxi jerk for doing it right before the prom. You don't have to make him the bad guy. But that's the best friend's job, <laughs> vilifying and grousing. But he's right. Maybe in the long run that he's right. I think he is. Must be horrible. I think horrible is still coming. Right now, it's worse. Right now, I'm just trying to keep from dying. Oh, I can't breathe well. I feel like I can't breathe. <laughs> See what I mean? It's a stupid cage. 
Okay, how long does it take you to buy a damn dress? I'm considering things a little more carefully nowadays. I don't want to get stuck with another dud. It positively screams nympho. Is this a customer or a friend? Neither. Just stop by for my daily helping of bile. So you better get back to work and quit goofing. Mrs. Finkel's so hesitant for you. You work here? <laughs> yes, I work here. Why? I'm trying to buy a dress. But don't you already have all the dresses? I have nothing, okay? No dresses, no cell phone, no car. Everything has been taken away because Daddy made a little mistake on his taxes for the last 12 years. Oh. Satisfied? I'm broke. I can't go to any of the colleges that accepted me, and I can't stay home because we no longer have one. Oh, my God. Uh, wow. Now you can run along and tell all of your friends how Cordy finally got hers, how she has to work part-time just to get a lousy prom dress on layaway, mm. and how she has to wear a name tag. I'm a name tag person. Don't leave that out. The story just wouldn't have the same punch. Oh, oh damn. Oh, he's so brave. Oh, damn. What the hell is that? Oh, his collar. Oh. You what? said the creature just stopped. That thing had good taste. He chucked Xander and went right for the formal wear. <laughs> look at the outfit that Xander's wearing. Now look at the kid that the monster went after. What? I don't want to see it again. A fashion monster? What Buffy, is this? Um, I know it's horrible, but you're going to hunt this creature. You should study it. I think I got it. She's right. Y you've seen one big hairy bringer of death. You've seen them all. Not really. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, this is a hellhound. Oh. Yes. Trained solely to kill, they feed off the brains of their foes. What, uh, where are you taking this hand up? What? Oh. Um... I was... Burning a hole in Daddy's wallet as usual. I just bumped into her during my tuxedo hunt. Yeah, Hello, that guy. Hell, He's got a remote up. control. Tucker Wells. I got into Tucker's email account. Oh, wow. Sunnydale High Lemmings have no idea what awaits them. Their big night will be their last night. So, we have a threat against the students on their big night. A hellhound trained to attack people in formal wear. Oh. oh. Are we all catching up now? I wonder if I can take my dress back. Don't you dare. You guys are gonna have a prom. The kind of prom that everyone should have. I'm gonna give you all a nice, fun, normal evening if I have to kill every single person on the face of the earth to do it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> nice. And you know what, did you two check the magic shop? Yeah, it's right next to the dress store on Main. I can swing that one. What's the mission? See if anyone's been in, buying supplies to raise a hellhound. Giles, you say this thing eats brains. And Tucker must be feeding it, right? Yeah, yeah, this kid oh. orders cow brains a couple of times a week. Goes to this address. <laughs> Good luck. It's a weird kid. Thanks. Wow, they just give out the address? Oh, it's crazy. Oh. Oh, he's buying his blood. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'll do your too. <laughs> I'm just surprised. How are you? Right as rain. Don't look at me like that. I can lie to you if I want to now. Or X, remember? <laughs> if it means anything, I miss you. Can we not, please? I've got to stop a crazy from pulling a carry at the prom. Still planning to go? Strictly in a chaperone capacity. I'm over the whole Buffy gets one perfect high school moment thing. <laughs> but I'm certainly not going to let some subhuman ruin it for the rest of the senior class. Yes. If you ever need my help. Look, I got it. Thanks. It's not easy seeing someone that you have so much feelings for. Hey, don't forget your dress. Aren't you wearing it tonight? I haven't finished paying for it yet. Well, somebody did. What? Who? Santa. Santa. Santa paint, right? Zero's all around, Buff. I got the address. <laughs> I want you guys to go on, and I will catch up with you as soon as I put a lid on this jerk. We can't just leave you, Buff. Buffy, they're right. Hit the door. I have everything under control. It makes sense to... Have a nice <laughs> time. Aww. Okay, then. See ya. That is so amazing. I want you at the gym. Keep an eye on them till I get there. I don't have to tell you you're being rather rash. Finding an address hardly adds up to case closed. 
You want to go after them and tell them that they can't go? That all of their planning and dreaming was for nothing? Angel's not taking you, is he? Angel's leaving me. She's leaving town. Buffy, I'm sorry. I don't really know what to say. I, I understand that um, this sort of thing requires ice cream of some kind. Ice cream will come. First, I want to take out Psycho Boy. The great thing about being a slayer, kicking ass is comfort food. Oh, I love that about Giles. He just knew. He just knew. He's so in tune with Buffy. Of course, you know, during the plague, it was always parts falling off. Well, that got pretty old since really they pretty much were it anyway. And to the Renaissance, that was a breath of fresh air. Well, I must say, this is all rather odd to me. You're an all male preparatory. We didn't go in for this sort of thing. No. Of course not. <laughs> Unless you count the nights you made the lower classmen get up as girls and watch them. <laughs> Dip is tasty, isn't it? Oh, oh, they look so good in their suits. Oh, wow. <coughs> oh, God. She looks amazing. Oh. You're not even a little nervous? We think Buffy's going to let us down? Oh, no. I see. You look... Smashing. It's a start. Oh, uh, okay. My God in heaven, it's good to see you. How are you both? <laughs> Very well, thank you. Yes, thank you. It looks good on you. Well, duh. Yeah, he paid for it. He paid it off. Oh my God, it's Xander. You ready to go? Sorry, new plan. <laughs> The prom's a go, and you're pathetic. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. So that's how you did it? That's how you brainwashed the hounds to go psycho on prom? Movies. Neat, huh? I don't know. What kind of sicko wants to destroy the happiest night of a senior's life? I have my reasons. You want to go to he the prom He doesn't have with a date. Me? No. Whatever. Every mal just has his reasons. Man, that's too easy. Wow. Okay. Now I'm gonna lock you in here and then I'm gonna party like it's not. Gotta have oh, a redundancy God. system. Uh oh. My three fiercest babies are on their way to the dance right now. Right, so it's not just one little hellhound. Uh -oh. Okay. Two to go. Follow Buffy. Good dogs. She's sacrificing her prom night to do this for everyone else. Oh no, they hear the music. Oh no. Oh. Wow. Get back. Oh, he's gone. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Ew. Well, she did it. She saved the night. I knew she would. Now she's just there by herself burying these things. <sighs> she has a dress. No. Oh. There's Buffy. She's beautiful. Hmm. Oh. I'm so happy. You look awesome. So do you. Everything cool? Coolest. Devil dogged your history. How's it come? <laughs> Strangely affecting. I got all teared up when they played We Are Family. Oh. Everything's perfect. Oh, I'm so happy. We have one more award to give out. Is Buffy Summers here tonight? Did, did she, um... Oh, wow. This is actually a new category. It's first time ever. <gasps> uh, I guess there were a lot of write-in ballots. And, um, <laughs> well, the, the prom committee asked me to, to read this. We're not good friends. Most of us never found the time to get to know you. But that doesn't mean we haven't noticed you. We don't talk about it much. But it's no secret that Sunnydale High isn't really like other high schools. A lot of weird stuff happens here. Zombie! Hyena people! Snyder! 
Whenever there was a problem or something creepy happened, you seemed to show up and stop it. Most of the people here have been saved by you, or helped by you at one time or another. We're proud to say that the class of 99 has the lowest mortality rate of any graduating class in Sunnydale history. And we know at least part of that is because of you. So the senior class offers its thanks and gives you this. Oh. Buffy Summers, class protector. <sighs> like her opinion. I wonder if asking Miss Chase to dance would... For God's sake, man, she's 18. <laughs> and you have the emotional maturity of a blueberry scone. <laughs> Just have at it, would you, and stop fluttering about... <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, she's 18. She's an adult, so... Wow. This isn't bad. He doesn't look like he's hating it either. You did good work tonight, Buffy. And I got a little toy surprise. <laughs> I had no idea that children en masse could be gracious. Every now and then, people surprise you. Every now and then. <gasps> oh, dear. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> I never thought you'd come. It's a big night. I didn't want to miss it. It's just tonight. It, it doesn't mean that I... I know. I mean, I understand. <laughs> Dance with me. Okay, um, that was beautiful. That was so beautiful to see Angel turn up. But I, I just feel that him turning up as beautiful as that is, doesn't that just make things worse? Doesn't that just prolong everything? He's still leaving. It doesn't change anything. He's still going. My God. I love this. It was so beautifully emotional, so wonderfully perfect. I love the ending. Seeing Buffy acknowledged by all of the students with what a great job she does and <laughs> that she is not gone, is not going unnoticed. Everyone appreciates her, loves her, needs her, wants her. And then Angel turning up at the end because you only get one, you only get one prom like that, one moment like that in high school. And I'm so glad that, I'm so glad that he was there. But then I also just worry because surely that's just going to prolong everything and just make it, make it worse. I know I've been saying for a little while now that the on again, off again relationship that Buffy and Angel has is quite uh, emotionally draining. And not just for me, obviously, because I'm not, it's not real and I'm not there, but for Buffy and Angel as well. He is a very deep thinker. He thinks a lot. He's had many years to think about stuff and he's obviously been thinking about this for a while but something I love when he was breaking up with Buffy was that he did explain that, oh I know it's so cliche, it's not you, it's me, but it is kind of true because he knows that he cannot give Buffy 
a future. He knows that there is no future there together when they're together. But I also have to think, you know, stop. It's up to Buffy to decide that. It's up to Buffy to decide if she wants to have children and that kind of stuff. But like Buffy said, in the long run, it's it's right. And it as much as it pains me, because I love Buffy and Angel together, I think it probably is for the best. And I'm sad. I'm I'm sad. But then... I also, if they're going to do this, if they're going to make this break, I also really want it to be it now. I want it to be over. As much as I love them together, I get it. it, it it's very draining and I'm tired of the on again, off again that they have going. And I just wish that they would make a choice and stick with it. So I'm really thinking that this might be it now. This was such a good episode I love that we had that reveal with Cordelia and her financial situation I was wondering in the last episode what had happened something must have gone wrong and yes it did go wrong and then to have Xander pay off her dress so she could wear it to the prom how beautiful is that considering that I don't think that Xander has a lot of money and for him to do that is incredibly selfless and a beautiful thing to do and part of me was actually hoping that Cordelia would see that and they would get back together I was I was kind of hoping that that would be the road that that was going to take but it looks like he's kind of happy with Anya now which is also quite weird Cordelia and Wesley Wyndon Price I don't really know what to say about that other than she's 18 she's an adult it's just see I can't say anything bad about that because I love Buffy and Angel together so much and you know I've got no right to say anything about Wesley and Cordelia it's just that I don't personally like Wesley so if I liked him, then I might be more into him and Cordelia being a thing, but I don't like him. So then I'm just like, ew, this is not good. Uh, very interesting to see what happens between them. Do I think they're a good match? Uh, I guess maybe they're both from, they, but they both seem to be of a similar class level, but... Of course, Cordelia doesn't have any money now, so maybe she can, maybe she can use Wesley's money. Oh God, I don't know. Oh boy, looking forward to seeing what happens. We just have two episodes left. What's going to happen? What's going to happen with these two remaining episodes before the end of this season? The Ascension, obviously. Something to do with Faith, obviously. And that's about it. That's all I can. That's all I can guess. Looking forward to it, though. Thank you guys for watching this episode with me. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Have an awesome day. Bye.